If only I hadn't eaten it. You're a strong kid, so try to help others. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, Yuji. Huh? What's wrong? It's just... Before I was too weak, I couldn't save anybody. Worse, I nearly got this girl killed. Make me strong. Make me into the strongest! Like your enthusiasm. Let's get on with your special training. Against that special grade, I got to work somehow. Because it requires negative emotions. In the fight that you're recalling, you are probably grinning with fear and with anger. All students are trained to produce cursed energy using even the faintest sparks of emotion. And they are training ways to avoid wasting their cursed energy when their emotions are flaring up as well. Got some work to do before I can face them. I just need to have my own cursed energy, don't I? Don't do it!
Can you swap with Sukuna at will? Sukuna? Yeah, the curse you ate. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, give us ten seconds and change right back into yourself. Yeah, but... <laughs> nah, don't worry. I'm way too strong for him. How'd it go? Oh, about that. So you really can control that guy. He's kind of annoying, though, to tell the truth. And I keep hearing his voice. Well, it's a miracle that's all he's doing to you. What did you do? just knocked him out. If he isn't possessed by Sukuna when he wakes up, then he might have potential as a vessel. Now, I have a question for you. What do you think we should do with him? Well, even if he is a vessel, Jujutsu regulations demand Itadori be executed. However, I don't want him to die. A request from a precious student? Leave it to me. But the end result is still your execution. Huh? Your recap doesn't match with the current events. You still have to die. But I got your sentence suspended. I'll just explain from the top. This is the same kind of thing as the cursed object you ate. There are 20 of these in total. We possess six of them. We can't destroy them. The curse is that powerful. That's where you come in. When you die, the super inside you will die as well. So here's what I propose to them. Since they've already decided to execute you, why not wait until after you've absorbed all of Sukuna to do it? So now, you have two options before you. You can die, here and now, or gather all the parts of Sukuna, absorb them, and then die. You're a strong kid, so try to help others. When you die, you should be surrounded by people. Who passed away? My grandpa. Although, he was more like a father to me. I see. Sorry it had to happen at a time like this. So... Have you decided what you want to do? Are casualties like these from curses pretty common? This one was a rather exceptional case. But in terms of damage, it happens all the time. If all the parts of Sukuna were gone, would it really help? Would there be fewer people getting harmed by curses? Yes, of course. So have you got that finger? Here. Looking at it again here in broad daylight, it's pretty disgusting. Okay, that's the second one. One-tenth of the whole. I wonder what's going to happen. I mean, it's so gross, it's funny. There. It's not just a physical tolerance that he has. He can fight off Sukuna's attempts to take over. We haven't seen someone with talent like this in a thousand years. What's wrong? 
No, no, oh, nothing at all. <laughs> I take it this means you've made up your mind, chosen your fate. Not at all. I still don't understand why I have to be executed. But I know I can't just do nothing. Grandpa, that last request of yours is going to be a pain in the ass. I'll eat every part of Sukuna. After that, I don't care. As far as how I'm going to die, I've already decided. My guy, I love finding guys like you. A fun time in hell awaits. Anyway, you're about to have an interview with the principal. Screw this up and he can turn you down for admission, just like that. What's this? So you're not the boss? Any hierarchy other than strength is worthless. I do owe you a big favor, though. Once I make this punk's body my own, you'll be the first one I kill. It's my honor to be targeted by Sukuna himself. This guy is really that famous? Ryomen Sukuna is an imaginary fierce god with four arms and two faces. In the golden age of Jujutsu, sorcerers gathered all their might to challenge him and failed. Without a doubt, he is the king of curses. You're late, Sato. Principal Masamichi Yaga. Yuji Itadori! This is an honor! What are you here for? An interview? But why Jujutsu High? To learn Jujutsu? I mean beyond that. What do you hope to find once you've studied curses and learned the art of exercising them? It was my grandfather's dying request of me. I just want to save who I can. Dying wish? You're saying you'll fight curses just because someone else told you to do that? Insufficient. It's not a doll. It's alive! In a way. They're corpses. Dolls that I've infused with my curse. A person's true nature reveals itself during a crisis. I'll keep attacking you until I get an acceptable answer. Look, man, it wasn't just someone else. It was my grandfather's dying request! Family is still just someone else. A jujutsu sorcerer constantly faces death. And not just their own death. Sometimes you must ignore the victims and rend the flesh from those who the curse is murdered. It's an unpleasant job. You do this because someone else told you to? Don't make me laugh! Oh, screw you! I... Are you going to blame your poor grandfather when you get killed by a curse, too? It's not easy to imagine how you feel on the verge of death. However, I can say one thing for certain. At the rate you're going, you might end up cursing your beloved grandfather for his dying wish. Jujutsu sorcerers never die without regret. So I'll ask you just once more. Why have you come here to Jujutsu High? As a kid, I was always better than most in sports and in fights. But never once did I think, this is something only I can do. Never. Consuming Sukuna? 
is something only I can do. So even if I could escape my death sentence and run away from this responsibility, then someday I'd be eating food, taking a bath, or reading manga. And the moment I stopped to think, I'd go, oh, I bet that right now somewhere out there, someone is dying because of Sukuna. But that doesn't concern me. It's certainly not my fault. You expect me to tell myself that? Well, I refuse to do that. I don't know how I'll feel when I'm dying. But I won't regret the way I lived. Sataru, show him to his door. You're admitted. Welcome to Jujutsu High. You know, there's no real reason for you to go fight at all. Fushiguro and I could retrieve Sukuna's fingers. I said I'd do it and I will! Yeah, but you wouldn't have refused to fight. I already knew that. Huh? That was a test? If the fingers were that easy to find, don't you think we'd have collected them already? The Sukuna within you will try to regain his power, and that will lead us to the fingers. You're both vessel and locator. We won't get very far without you. You're next door. Hey, hey, Fushiguro! Wow, you look all better now. And together, we're heading out tomorrow! We're going to go pick up the third and final first year. Why are we meeting up here in Harajuku? Because that's what she asked for. Wait, she's the one we have to go and talk to? This is really embarrassing. Yeah, so are you. Hey, we're over here! Right, I'd like you to meet... Nobara Kugisaki. You should be honored, boy. I'm your boots girl. I think I'll go into. Don't push yourself. You're still recovering, you know? The one we're testing this time around is no bar. What a pain in my ass. I come all the way to Tokyo and I still have to deal with dumb curses? Let's save some time. You and I should split up. Hold on a minute. Let's take this seriously. Curses are dangerous, you know. I don't want to hear it from someone who last week was a clueless normie! Now get moving! You're an out-of-control roller coaster of emotions today! No, you need a receipt. It's a curse! Yeah, you, mannequin in the center. You actually think you're hidden there? <sighs> Fine then. I'll do this from here. As we know, curses are born from human minds, so their strength and numbers grow in proportion to the population. Tokyo curses are on a different level than those in the countryside. You know, you might want to pull those out. Or my cursed energy will flow into you. Nailed it. <laughs> hey, it's all right now. Come on out. Ugh. Ugh. 
I'll call Itadori. Wait! I took him hostage. This curse has intelligence? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! This curse isn't even all that strong. Great board! But it's aware of that. That's why it chose to take a hostage. Calm yourself down. I die, the boy dies too. And if he dies, I won't die. Logically speaking, it's better if at least I survive. I mean, right? I'm unarmed now. Let the boy go. Poor Sauri. I wish I could have seen her one last time. Missed? You okay, bud? Nice one. Now I can really let loose on it. Oh, good. All right, she's crazy. This is why I told you. I said it's dangerous to go alone and you need to take it seriously. Except you never said it was dangerous to go alone. I... Wait, I didn't? <sighs> you know, you asked me a ton of questions, but I've got one for you. Like, why did you come here to Jujutsu High? Because the countryside sucked and I always wanted to live in Tokyo. You'd risk your life just to live in the city? I would, since it means being true to myself. So as far as that goes, I'm grateful to you too. If you hadn't been here, and he or I had been killed, the future wouldn't be so bright. So, thanks. Well, I guess we've all got our own reasons for being here. Drop it! I've given you my thanks already. We're even now. What is wrong with her? Hey there! We made sure the kid got home. Now, how about we grab some food? A juicy steak! Sushi! Huh? Bushy girl, what's the matter? Nothing. He's pouting because he didn't get to fight. Poor little baby. Let's take this body back with us. Leave that body behind. We won't be able to come back for it later. I didn't say we'd come back. I said leave it behind. Tadashi here hit and killed a little girl on her way home from school while driving without a license. And that was his second offense. I know that you're 
keen on this idea of saving lots of people and guiding them to proper deaths. But think, how are you going to feel when someone you saved goes on to kill someone else later? So, why did you bother saving me then? You won't need to cut it out. This is hardly the time and place to be acting like... Kugi... Saki? It's Adori! Time to run! We'll find her later. Right now, we... It's taking it. It's a special break. I can't move. Move, move! Ushiguro! Find Kugisaki and get her out of here! I'll stay here and keep the special grade busy. At least until you two are clear of the innate domain. As soon as you're both out, give me some kind of signal. And then, I'll switch bodies with Sukuna. You can't! Ushiguro! It's okay. I can't see a damn thing in here. The curse's presence. Uh, how can there be so many? You all right, Kugisaki? Where's Itadori? I'll tell you later. You need to ditch these guys and get out of here. Now! Yeah, somehow. Too damn bad! We're out of here now! Let's go! I was so proud. I thought I was really strong. At least strong enough that I could choose when and how I die. But I'm not. I'm weak. I don't want to die. But I'm going to die. No. Not like this. A proper death. Yeah, right. Don't be naive. Jujutsu sorcerers never die without regret. Still, I want to be able to say my death was a proper one. These negative emotions in mankind become the source of curses. So all of the hate, the fear, the regret... Let it all out! And put it in your face! Surprisingly, you and I both are apparently classified as special grade. Good 
job. You and me, man. Pleased with yourself, huh? You want praise now? But healing with cursed energy isn't all that difficult. It's a lot easier for cursed spirits than it is for humans. Neither you nor this punk whose body I'm in truly understand what curses really are. This is a good opportunity. So I'll use it to show you exactly what real jujitsu is. Domain expansion. Malevolent shrine. I was only planning to slice you into three. But I guess you were weaker than I thought. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then there's this. I'll be taking this. It's over, you punk. What are you waiting for? If you're gonna switch, then do it already. There's no reason to be scared. I'm in such a great mood right now. Let's just chat. The kid had it coming for just using it without making any kind of a deal. And now it feels like he's having some trouble switching back. But then no matter what, this would have ended up the same. So I've been thinking about the different ways I can do this. I'm taking this brat hostage. Oh, and also... And with that, I'm as free as a bird. And now... The only thing granted equally to all is an unfair reality. Karma isn't fully automatic. Evil people are only judged under the law. Jujutsu sorcerers are just another cog in that machine of retribution. I want good people to enjoy fairness, even if only a few will. So, I save people unequally. That's... So this is when you start burning through your life. Mega Man, show me what you've got! Sing the treasure. Swing the ring. Bring a grip. Oh, and just so you know, I didn't have any logical reason for saving you back then. Even though it was dangerous, I just couldn't bear to see a good person like you die. Sure, I had my reservations. But ultimately, I did it for selfish, emotional reasons. But that's fine, though. I'm a jujutsu sorcerer. I'm not a hero. And all this time, I never once regretted saving you. Right. I think your conviction is a good one. But I don't think mine is exactly wrong either. Uh, sorry. I guess I'm done for. I hope you live a long life.